The display technology has gone through huge advancements in past years. We have seen a massive shift from old LCD and TFT panels to the OLED displays and then we saw a massive improvement in the screen to body ratio which led to the notch design and also the punch hole design which the Samsung calls Infinity O display. Just after that, we saw the introduction of the under display fingerprint scanner which has been now a common thing in almost all mid-range and flagship devices except Apple. We have also seen the latest foldable display trend which has been capturing the market with Samsung introducing its latest Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. So after all this, what's next? Well, it seems the under display camera is the next thing that we would look forward to in terms of the future smartphone technology. As we all know, Isa TE has already launched its first smartphone with under display camera, Isa TE Axon 20 5G, which gives us the first glimpse of the future under display camera technology. Now, coming back to the Samsung's implementation of the under display technology, it was earlier rumored the Samsung would implement the under display camera on the S21 or Note 21 series. But now, the latest leaks suggest that that won't be happening. According to the latest leaks, it seems Samsung would reserve this technology for its most premium foldable smartphone series, the Galaxy Fold 3. It is reported that Samsung is implementing this technology in a two-step HIAA process. Remember, Samsung uses HAA1 technology on its current Galaxy S20, A-series and Note 20 models where it laser cuts a precise opening in the flexible OLED screen so that there is no visible edge distortions. Samsung is quite advanced in this process to the extent that it's reportedly set standards for the smallest and the best punch holes among its competition. Even though Samsung is the best in the HAA1 process, a selfie camera under a fully functioning display is no easy task. However, it is expected that the Samsung would employ its most advanced HIA2 methodology for the under display camera technology where it pierces numerous miniature holes in the layer over the tiny front camera sensor so that enough light could pass through to take selfies or record a video. It is precisely because of some issues with the HA2 process, Samsung has to delay its implementation of the under display camera technology on the Galaxy S21. Another reason might be that the, the complex HIAA2 process has very low yield for now. Samsung might not be able to produce enough under display camera panels for the Galaxy S21 or Note 20 since the volume of sales is quite high. Hence the implementation of this under display camera technology on the Galaxy Fold 3 also makes sense since the volume of the Fold 3 smartphones is not that high. There has also been rumors that Samsung has been looking for some alternatives to the HIA2 process. Samsung is experimenting with top display layer over the selfie camera sensor underneath the transparent glass similar to the technology implemented on the transparent screen. Even though there are alternatives, the Samsung is most probably going to stick to the HIA2 process since they already have some expertise in this area but implementing this technology on a flexible OLED screen has its own challenges. There are reports that the flexible polyamide screen on Samsung's foldable displays has an yellowish tint to it. This could cause a yellow hue when light passes through it, which could completely ruin the color balance of your selfies. It is said that Samsung plans to address this issue with various sensors and AA-based software calibrations. Anyhow, how much these software and sensor calibrations could bring back the authentic selfie camera experience on the under-display camera, only time will tell. So guys, uh, that's pretty much that we have here for now. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed.